The Latino community is still grappling with this tragedy. Dozens met in Des Moines tonight to figure out just how to prevent this kind of thing from happening again. Kayla James was there. Kayla, anything decided tonight? Yeah, Stacey, what they decided is that this is just the start to a number of conversations to be had. Parents and some students spoke up. They agreed and disagreed on ideas, but all want one thing for their community to be, to be heard and their kids kept safe. ¿Qué planes tiene o qué piensa hacer el distrito escolar o la gobernadora para tratar de evitar este tipo de accidentes? A question from a fearful father, one resonating with many in the room Friday night. What does the school district or Governor Kim Reynolds plan to do to avoid situations like the shooting from happening again? And an answer from school board member Maria Alonso Diaz. Es precisamente la razón por la que este tipo de reuniones son importantes. That's precisely why this meeting is important, to bring about change. If no one believes in you, just believe in yourself. You you have you. From the youngest of kids to concerned adults, the gravity of Monday's shooting weighed heavily on the Latino community in the room Friday night. People threw out suggestions and questions, stemming from keeping school building doors locked. Queremos los policías para atrás. Calls for school resource officers in Des Moines schools again. When it comes to violent, violence prevention, police do not do that. And some disagreeing, saying other ways of lessening violence should be looked at. I'm here to listen to you and to learn from you. City leaders say the city and community needs to step up for students and hear them out. Because it's students like East High School in Marisol. As a student, I feel like this can go many ways. Who people want to protect and ensure have a future. I feel like I stand with you guys and how um, everyone thinks that every student should be safe and their kids. Community activists say this is not a one and done conversation. A list was sent around at the end of the night where people left their names and numbers to join up for the next discussion. Stacy, Kayla, thank you. On Sunday, the friends and family of Jose Lopez will be at the Catholic Pastoral Center in Des Moines to remember him. The two other victims remain in the hospital. A 16 year old girl is in serious condition. An 18 year old girl is in critical condition. Both are students at East.